Hi everyone, I'm in Geneva. Not sure what day of online learning it is, but we're in week eight. I wanna to talk to you today about the intersect between sustainability and education, because I recently attended an online summit called Disrupting Education for a Sustainable Future. This was hosted by Dollar School from Scotland in conjunction with Sustainability Education and the University of Cambridge Sustainability Leadership Program. In this summit, educational leaders and teachers and students and parents as well as industry leaders came together to think about educational reform and how the environment has to play a part in that. Yes, we can say that, that this is triggered by the, an unfortunate event of COVID, but we can also see this as a catalyst or an accelerator to bring about reform. It's thrown many of us into online learning. Uh, we weren't expecting that. Globally, many, many students have no access to education right now, and some are in sort of a hybrid between email and mail, uh, paper. So it's, I do recognize that I am in a place of privilege having technology and being able to reach my students in an online setting. But in that place of privilege also comes great responsibility to challenge the status quo and work for uh, the betterment of, of all systems and all students and humans. So schools need to really be thinking about that too. Are we just a reflection of society or do we want to be involved as a change agent? When we think about change, we do want to create that student-centered approach that has incorporated into it the relevant 21st century skills. And now if we think about environment, this brings in an ethical and moral component. One thing I'm trying to keep in mind is that we are part of an ecosystem. And if we are going to create meaningful and connected experiences for our students, we need to work within that and collaborate for the best possible outcome. So how can we approach this in a practical sense? Because we hear a lot of people putting out ideas, uh, dreams and wishes, but nobody really talks about, well, how do we do that? If we want to create sustainable schools that teach both empathy and compassion for other humans and also for the environment, we need to reconsider the practical aspects of what we do. So looking at our buildings, many schools already do this. We or have sustainable practices, but maybe we could go further in that. Another thing we can be thinking about is what kind of things do we offer to our students? Are our courses all separated out into math, English, and science, or do we take a more holistic approach that may be more friendly to sustainability? And then also thinking about our approaches to pedagogy. How much are we involving students? Do they have agency? Do they have a part? Do they feel like they're working together with us or that we're just imposing something on them? So maybe these things, thinking about these things and coming together, perhaps we can have a more green recovery from COVID, one that's based in student agency. And then on the other side, we should see more hopeful and positive young people, as opposed to ones who are filled with cynicism and mistrust for adults. So if you're interested in working on this, uh, get in touch with me and let's get started.